when Johnny comes marching home. Sometimes, when Johnny comes marching home again, is a popular song from the American Civil War that expressed people's longing for the return of their friends and relatives who were fighting in the war. Topic origins The lyrics to When Johnny Comes Marching Home were written by the Irish-American bandleader Patrick Gilmore during the American Civil War. Its first sheet music publication was deposited in the Library of Congress on September 26, 1863, with words and music credited to Louis Lambert. Copyright was retained by the publisher, Henry Tallman & Co., of Boston. Why Gilmore chose to publish under a pseudonym is not clear, but popular composers of the period often employed pseudonyms to add a touch of romantic mystery to their compositions. Gilmore is said to have written the song for his sister Annie as she prayed for the safe return of her fiancé, Union Light Artillery Captain John O'Rourke, from the Civil War, although it is not clear if they were already engaged in 1863, as the two were not married until 1875. Gilmore later acknowledged that the music was not original but was, as he put it in an 1883 article in the Musical Herald, a musical waif which I happened to hear somebody humming in the early days of the rebellion, and taking a fancy to it, wrote it down, dressed it up, gave it a name name, and rhymed it into usefulness for a special purpose suited to the times. The melody was previously published around July 1, 1863, as the music to the Civil War drinking song, Johnny Fill Up the Bowl. A color-illustrated, undated slip of Gilmore's lyrics, printed by his own Boston publisher, actually states that, when Johnny comes marching home, should be sung to the tune of, Johnny Fill Up the Bowl. The original sheet music for, Johnny Fill Up the Bowl, states that the music was arranged, not composed, by J. Dernal. There is a melodic resemblance of the tune to that of John Anderson, My Joe, to which Robert Burns wrote lyrics to fit a pre-existing tune dating from about 1630 or earlier, and Jonathan Leiter has suggested a connection to the 17th century ballad The Three Ravens, When Johnny Comes Marching Home is also sung to the same tune as Johnny I Hardly Knew Ye and is frequently thought to have been a rewriting of that song. However, Johnny I Hardly Knew Ye was not published until 1867, and it originally had a different melody. When Johnny Comes Marching Home was immensely popular and was sung by both sides of the American Civil War. It became a hit in England as well. <laughs> Other versions Quite a few variations on the song, as well as songs set to the same tune but with different lyrics, have appeared since When Johnny Comes Marching Home was popularized. The alleged larcenous tendencies of some Union soldiers in New Orleans were parodied in the lyrics. For Bales, to the same tune, a British version appeared in 1914, with the similar title When Tommy Comes Marching Home. The 1880 U.S. presidential election campaign featured a campaign song called, If the Johnnies Get Into Power. Morton Gold's classical arrangement, American Salute, of the song, 1943. Harris, Roy, 1934, When Johnny Comes Marching Home, an American overture. The Andrews Sisters, a swing era, sister act sang an upbeat, swing, version in the 1940s. Topic popular culture after 1950. The children's songs The Ants Go Marching and The Animals Went In Two by Two Into the Ark reused the tune and the refrain. British pop singer Adam Faith sang a version titled Johnny Comes Marching Home, used over the opening and closing title credits for the British crime thriller Never Let Go 1960. This version was arranged and conducted by John Barry. Another version was released as a single, reaching number five in the UK charts. Bing Crosby included the song in a medley on his album 101 Gang Songs 1961. A French version without vocals Johnny Reviant de la Guerre was recorded by Barrier Noir, on the album Macadam Massacre 1983. The Pittsburgh Pirates organ player would play the song, each time second baseman Johnny Ray would come to bat. In Finland the tune is known as Captaini Kuku, Captain Hook, a children's song with lyrics by Kio Vudenmäki, and most recently recorded by the Finnish children's music band Hevisaurus on their album Jura Heaven Kuninkat. United States soccer fans sing the chorus to this song during matches as a patriotic hymn to support their national team. 
The song or its melody has also been used in many movie soundtracks, including Cavalcade (1933), Gone with the Wind (1939), a Confederate military band plays it in the background of a scene taking place in Atlanta, The Great Dictator (1940), Yankee Doodle Dandy (1942), The Red Badge of Courage (1951), Stalag 17 (1953). It is sung by American prisoners of war, The Horse Soldiers (1959). The phrase "We'll all feel gay" is changed to We'll all raise hell when Johnny comes marching home. How the West was won, 1962. Doctor Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, 1964. Run, Man, Run, 1968. The Crazies, 1973. Monty Python and the Holy Grail, 1975. Born on the Fourth of July, 1989. Joe vs. the Volcano, 1990. Die Hard with a Vengeance, 1995. The Second Civil War, 1997. Ants, 1998. And the Majestic. 2001. The Clash used the melody and some of the lyrics for their song English Civil War on the Give Him Enough Rope album. Jacob Miller used the melody for his song Peace Treaty, which was written for the One Love Peace concert in Kingston, Jamaica, on April 22, 1978, to celebrate a peace treaty between the opposing leading parties. The melody of When Johnny Comes Marching Home can be heard in the fade out of the song Out in the Fields by Gary Moore and Phil Linnett 1985, played on keyboard. The song has an anti-war theme. American singer Angel Snow's rendition of the song appears on the compilation album Divided and United, Songs of the Civil War It is used as the ending theme for the OVA series, Black Lagoon, Roberta's Blood Trail. An instrumental rendition was featured in the 2015 anime movie Girls und Panzer der Film. Whistled by lead singer Axel Rose in the Guns and Roses song Civil Underscore War Underscore Song. Topic. Lyrics The original lyrics as written by Gilmore, are When Johnny comes marching home again Hurrah! Hurrah! We'll give him a hearty welcome then Hurrah! Hurrah! The men will cheer and the boys will shout The ladies they will all turn out And we'll all feel gay When Johnny comes marching home, the old church bell will peal with joy Hurrah! Hurrah! To welcome home our darling boy! Hurrah! Hurrah! The village lads and lassies say With roses they will strew the way And we'll all feel gay When Johnny comes marching home, get ready for the jubilee! Hurrah! Hurrah! We'll give the hero three times three! Hurrah! Hurrah! The laurel wreath is ready now! To place upon his loyal brow. And we'll all feel gay. When Johnny comes marching home, let love and friendship on that day. Hurrah, hurrah. Their choicest pleasures then display. Hurrah, hurrah. And let each one perform some part. To fill with joy the warrior's heart. And we'll all feel gay. When Johnny comes marching home. Johnny fill up the bowl Johnny fill up the bowl, which provided the tune for When Johnny Comes Marching Home, was a topical drinking song that commented on events in the American Civil War. It was frequently refitted with new words by soldiers and other publishers, a satirical variant of Johnny fill up the bowl, entitled For Bales, or, more fully, for Bales, an or true tale, dedicated to those pure patriots who were afflicted with cotton on the brain and who saw the elephant, was published in New Orleans in 1864, by A. E. Blackmar. <laughs> <laughs> Lyrics <laughs>